Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up t6config which is this program up here for Elevon or Delta Mixing in my case for FT22 by flight test so first you have one of these connectors and it has a USB bit on it so the first step is to plug it into there and if you've done it right you can see the light come on and then make sure that the other end of that wire is plugged into this communication port on the back of the transmitter like so and then you have to turn on the transmitter like that make sure the light is green and then so you open up T6 config and sometimes it comes up with this invalid port number in which case you can see that if I move the stick nothing's moving and then if I close it I switch the port and then hopefully this time it will work if it says it again then we can try another port you can see here that if I move the aileron stick nothing's happening So then you can close T6 config and you keep trying until it actually responds to the controls on the transmitter because then you can double check that everything is working correctly. Now you can see the aileron channel. If I go right aileron, it's moving the wrong way so you can set that channel reverse. Then elevator, throttle and rudder and then this is the switch for a bomb drop on my sky surfer so to change it from a normal four channel or five channel plane into delta i've already done it so i can go on open and then i can select the file that i've made to show you how this works so it's, and now you can see when I move the aileron it moves channel 5 and channel 1 then if I move the elevator it moves channel 2 channel 5 and channel 1 and then moving the rudder moves channel 4 and throttle moves channel 3 as you can see now the program's frozen so we have to try again so to do this exit that, try plugging it back in again, reopen T6 config, hopefully it will work now, yeah you can see like that, so this is how I did it, so mix, for the first mix you have the sources channel 1, so you plug one servo out of the two servos, for the elevons you plug one into channel 1 on the receiver, and you plug the other one into channel 5 and you set the up and down rate to 100% and you just you can switch you can change it so that by the switch on the transmitter you can change it between normal and this I've done it so that it's permanently on and I can't accidentally change anything in flight and then mix number 2 the source is channel 2 because you plug the elevator into the second channel on the receiver the destination is channel 1 so that it mixes with the aileron channel and you can see I've got negative 100 that acts like a reverser so if one of the if the elevator is moving the wrong way you can reverse it by doing that or by using the conventional reverses and then I've got it to on and then you can click OK you can open up channel 3 this source is channel 2 again because I still need the elevator here and then the destination is channel 5 because that's where I plugged in my other servo then up and down rates 100% and it's on 
and then you can see it working like that aileron elevator and throttle i don't have a rudder on this but if i did then that would also work and then you can see this on the plane i'm going to plug the plane in hopefully this will work correctly and then if you look this way you can see on my ft22 kind of hard to see up and down you can see that it's moving up and down and then left and right you can kind of see that it's moving left and right and that's correct and then up and down so you can see how this mixing kind of works like that if I needed to change anything, then I can do it quite simply by going into these. I can set endpoints. I make sure before you start this, make sure that all of these endpoints are set to 120%. And then make sure that all of the sub trims are set to zero and the draw rates zero you can set those for higher and low speeds and then you have mode type make sure the mode is mode 2 if you fly mode 2 it doesn't mean you can have a full model memory it literally means you can change between mode 1 mode 2 mode 3 and mode 4 and this is the thing for mixes and for bomb drops on planes there's all of these switches and dials as you can see on the transmitter up here there's a switch and then there's a dial here I haven't got them set to anything so it won't do anything yet and then the same on switch and dial thanks for watching this tutorial if it helped you please like the video and please comment if it helped you or comment if you want any other T6 config tutorials